so guys, it's little T so here going to this. Welcome back to the letter. Um, so today I'm gonna play part two. Gotcha. Let's get in here. Now, last time so last time we stopped here. Yeah. As much as I'd love to have gotten at least a heads up of your arrival, I didn't really get a call from you. Hmm. You know, Signal here is absolutely horrendous. I was in the garden earlier and couldn't even make a single call. Isabella, I'm going to ask again. Are you really all right? What happened? I... I don't know. It's all a bit blurry. <laughs> I remember I was looking for you, but you weren't in the attic. And, and there's whoever it is. And I must have tripped on a rug or something on the way down. Oh, oh no. Do you think someone came in while you were out? You left the main door open. We are so going to get into big trouble if something gets stolen, Rose. Perhaps it is a concussion. Are you sure you feel fine? We could still call for an ambulance. I could cover for you. No, I'm fine. I'm okay, Rose. I can work. I mean, literally, if you can't work, just say it. Just, just, just say it. Just say it. Because you won't say it, that means you won't do nothing, okay? Besides, if I leave, you'll have to shoulder everything in the open house. Alone. And in a mansion this big? Exactly. Hmm. Maybe you should. See? I'm a okay. I mean, guys, this is part two. So yeah. Um. All right, you in. So, so, so this, so, so. If so, I see that you aren't feeling clear. well, I'm taking you personally to the nearest clinic to have you checked. Clear. Clear as day, ma'am. Thanks, Rose. You insisted, but remember what I said. First sign of you looking not okay, and we're off. No questions asked. It's just a small bump. Don't worry. You shouldn't downplay these kinds of things. It could be a serious injury for all we know. He made a picture. It's still like that, you know. <laughs> My sincerest apologies, Mrs. Oh, Miss. Hmm. Miss McCulloch. Marianne McCulloch. Oh my god. Well, well, I can just enjoy this. Wait. Where is the stuff? So. 
Bueno, los chicos son los que me han hecho por todo eso. Este es Miss McCullough, I'm Rose Cooper, and this is my partner, Isabella Santos. We're just ironing out a few things, but we'll be starting the tour soon enough. In the meantime, we've prepared some refreshments for you in the parlor while you're waiting. If you could, please. Thanks. There's no need for it, though. I just dropped by for a quick survey of the place. I thought I should check the estate before I meet with the homeowners. I'm sorry. Homeowners? So. <coughs> yes. Hannah Wright? I was hired by her to handle the interior design for their newly bought home. This is the Ermengarde Mansion, right? It is, but... Oh, my bad. It is, ma'am, but we weren't aware the mansion has already been sold. What do you mean? ma'am. Today's the open house, in fact. However, we haven't heard anything from the higher-ups that a deal has already been closed for this particular property. I if you'd like, my co-agent and me can check with them right now. I thought something looked odd when I arrived here. Excuse me, I think I need to make a call to my secretary. Thank you for your assistance, Miss Santos. Sorry, guys, but I'm, I'm just a little busy. Oh. I'm busy right now, but I'll talk later. Just, just enjoy the gameplay while it lasts, okay? Because remember, this is part two. Yeah, this is part two. I'm playing. So, so this is part. Um, so this is part one. Like you know. Like you continue because there seems to have been a little misunderstanding with my client. If you'll allow it, I'd like to stay and wait for them here. I was informed they'll be dropping by for the open house today. I figured it'd be a waste to just leave after that long drive. I might as well meet him here. Certainly. You can stay at the parlor in the meantime, ma'am. I'm sure it won't be long before our guests arrive. And Isabella? 
I left a few documents in my car. You know where I keep them. Can you please get it for me? And hurry. We've still got a few minutes to double check those papers. Okay, got it. before joining a specific group. Those who want to look around the first floor, please follow my partner. I'll be guiding the ones who wish to see the ground floor. <coughs> so sorry about that, guys. Um... flattering mom I'm sure you won't disappoint Marianne oh you know each other not at all ma'am you mentioned something about a Marianne on our way here darling oh yes I think I did
This game is not. It, it is this one. Okay. <coughs> Let's see. Is that a bit? What's on the board? Is, is that a bit? Some of the furnishings here are actually the 17th century originals, all of which have undergone a painstaking restoration process just to return its original beauty. Even the glass... thing... colorful ones... Oh, I don't know, but you get the idea, I hope. Especially that one, ma'am. It is said to be a gift commissioned by the fiancé of Lady Charlotte Ermengarde. The mansion's current owners have specifically requested that the restoration crew take great care in handling it. It's a priceless work of art and the most distinctive feature of the mansion. Isn't this place wonderful, darling? I told you it's not a total waste of your time. I don't know. Isn't it a bit too small? We might have to break a wall down to have more room. Well, I think it is just right. Don't you think so, Marianne? It is splendid, ma'am. But isn't it a little too early to make plans when no deal has been signed yet? Never mind that. It isn't going to be a problem. We've got a wonderful legal team to handle everything. Start taking notes, though. I think I've got a few things I want changed before we move in. The highlight of the room, however, is what's underneath this hatch here. Oh, don't say anything yet. An underground wine cellar. Let's get through this then. Yes, mm. sir. It could house around 7,000 to 11,000 bottles of wine. Truly? And the room? How was it built? The bricks that were used to build the cellar have been carefully picked for the purpose of maintaining and preserving a constant temperature and humidity in the room. It's a good place to keep your private collection in if you have one, sir. It keeps the corks in good condition. Oh, love. Didn't you say before that you wanted to make your own personal vineyard? Perhaps you could start one here. You know we're going to need space for that, darling.
If it's space you're worried about, sir, the Ermengarde Mansion sits on a 46-acre lot. There's plenty of room for it. We were told that the original owners had a horse stable built here before, too. What the hell? Excuse me, everyone. We we will be taking a fifteen minute rest here before we visit the first floor. Really, really. There's not a sign that something is in the goddamn. In the meantime, please help yourselves to the refreshments and snacks we prepared. If anyone has any questions, feel free to approach me. I'd be happy to help you. Yeah, bro, that thing is getting intense. Goddamn. <laughs> so, I think if I record everything, um, I will finish the game. Actually, I'll, actually. So, I will finish the game. Um... <laughs> when I got time. Hello, you there? Y yes, ma'am. Oh, look at you! Having to show a group around a mansion this big must be exhausting. Not a problem, ma'am. I'm just doing my job. What a hard worker! Anyway, Isabel, right? Isabella, actually. But yes, oh what can I help God. you with, ma'am? Right? Just, just let her call you that because I know. Why? Because, why? Because, because I know I'm. Mm, 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 mm. Some of those people, you know, can't say names right. Not being rude. I'm just saying that. Please, just Hana. Call me Hana. I just wanted to ask, how soon are we able to move in? Wait, but we haven't even negotiated a price yet, ma'am. We haven't even finished touring the rest of the mansion. A sale would be great and all, but... Oh, please, sweetie, don't insult me. Money is not a problem. And, just between you and me, this place is better off with us than with some old lady who will probably just fill it up with cats. Jeez. <laughs> I... Personally, don't think there's anything wrong with having cats here, ma'am, Hana. I'm sure there's more than enough space here if you want pets. Well, I'm more of a dog person. But you see, this is going to be a gift to my darling. It's going to be our anniversary soon. And it would be so wonderful if you can secure its purchase for us. Why, I can even offer something extra if you help us out with the paperwork. I... We actually have a process for this, ma'am. I don't really think that would be necessary or appropriate. And just what are you two lovely ladies talking about here? What would the people think, darling? Oh, it's just small talk, love. I was asking if she could help me with the paperwork. Uh, uh, yeah, I can give you a fact sheet and a form to fill out. Gonna look at me like I'm so. Mm. Wonderful. And Marianne, I'd really love to talk to you about those changes. You I did, Mom. But I really hope that this time. Excellent. Hopefully, you can help us out too, Isabel. God damn. Isabella. Right, right. It's a lovely name, oh Isabel. God. It's Isabella. Nigga, stop fucking arguing, goddamn. Yes, that's great. We'll be more than happy to put in a good word to your superiors, too, and... What's this? <coughs> that's, uh, an interesting work of art. Not to my taste, though. I'm sorry. 
darling buttercup. Art is a complete overstatement for this garbage. <laughs> it looks like a cheap prop from a D-list horror film. Shush, love. Let the girl do what she pleases with... Uh, what do they call this? Oh, forget about it. At the very least, it's not as... dreadful as the one art exhibit I was forced to attend last month. You should have seen it, Marianne. Even you would have been appalled. But I'm sure you'll know what to do with our walls once we get started. I highly doubt it is as bad as you say, ma'am. Nevertheless, you can be assured that my team will only pick whatever suits your tastes. Nothing of this chain letter sort, of course. It has to always work with a palette. I'm quite sure chain letters these days don't come in this... form. Yeah, um, so, 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 uh, this game is in 3D and 2D graphics, so, that's, that's why you see 2D characters on, 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 you know, on, um, you know, 3D graphics. That's good to hear. See, darling, isn't she an absolute delight to work with? I can't wait. Oh, you don't have to tell me that, Buttercup. I would still put it away if I were you, though. Otherwise, people might get the wrong impression. Anyway, as I was saying... <sighs> Isabella? Isabella? Are you alright? You're looking pale. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you're gonna. Um, I'm, 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 I'm gonna explain no, no, no spoiler, okay? Now, this video has no spoiler alerts, so don't be mad at me when I, when I don't say The letter! Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't know! God damn. Yeah, I think you should. Why? Because system is gonna be, you know, mental breakdown. I don't know. No, I'm just feeling a bit out of it. Excuse me, I'll be back. I just need to catch my breath. Yeah. Isabella, wait. Oh my God, what? <clears throat> hey, I'm not angry. I know. I'm sorry I ruined this for you. Come on. You didn't ruin anything. I mean... It's not like we haven't ran into any problems before. Well... I, I mean, I mean, that's tough. If we don't get a deal today, we can always try on a different day. Yeah, that's tough. I don't know who else is doing this. And... Look. You want us to get this sale so badly. And we've made a lot of plans on how to go about this. I mean, who wouldn't? This is the first time I've been assigned to a property like this. What a big ass mansion? I've sold plenty of houses before, but nothing like what we have here. It's a beautiful house. A estate agent, I'd yep. love to get one of my own if I ever win the lottery. But I think. Look. Here's the thing, Isabella. If we are going to do this, work on something, I don't know, this big, I need you in top shape. And the way you are now... What? 
Wait, no, I can still work. I just need to get myself together. That's what you said earlier. I let it go because I thought, hey, it's your own body and you should know more than anyone how you feel. But after this, I really think you should take a break. You're, you're kicking me out? Oh my God. Nobody said this man's kicking me out, bro. All she freaking said no, was- No, I'm not. <laughs> All I'm asking is for you to take a seat somewhere I can see you and let me handle this for now. You're clearly not yourself and I honestly could use some time not worrying when you'll fall over or not. The day's not even over and I'm already feeling the stress. Please, humor me just this once. That's why I'll not be here next month. No, I'm saying. No, for I'll be here. So, if I don't upload a video in the summer, is because I'll be in Florida also. So, that's why. Oh, don't worry, I'll come back. I promise I'll give you a full report of what happens after. I'll even let you take the lead tomorrow. Fine. Okay. I'll step aside for now. You're upset. A little, yeah, obviously. If it's any consolation, I won't tell the boss about today. You know how he is. Please, don't. I don't want a repeat of the lecture I got during my first assignment. God damn. He called me a noob, and I don't even know what that means! <laughs> <laughs> Quote, noob. Actually, so, are we after this video, I'm gonna strip what, what noob actually means. <laughs> because... I won't be able to help you anyways if I keep getting distracted like this. Maybe I'll just take a walk outside or something while I wait for you to wrap things up. Please, just stay put. I insist. I do. I'm not an invalid, Rose. You clearly have not seen how you looked early. It's not that bad. Color hasn't even returned to your cheeks yet. <laughs> Just stay here, all right? Don't even think. One second. Nope, this is an ad. Think of going. <coughs> Let me finish what I'm doing here, and then I'll take you back to Luxembourg myself to have that minor bump checked. It's Luxembourg a real place. Yes, it is a real place. At least wait for me to it's call someone place. who'll fetch you, okay? Yeah, so. Luxembourg, USA. Yup, it's a real place. Oh, it's kind of nice. Why is the... Whoa. Shit! Bob Ash from Deluxe City. Hey, watch Shit. more fasting. Hey, Ash, watch more trouble? fasting. Better mm -hmm. not lie. I'm we are kids dude. watching this. So stop watching. Sup, Bob Ash from Deluxe City. Baggers, watch out. Can't beat me. Looking for trouble? Better not lie. I'm of all the cool times dude. to pretty fly for... Ashton Frey! God damn. Ah! <laughs> Ooh. <coughs> yeah,
hello to you too, scaredy cats. I could stand to be greeted like a normal person, you know. What? And miss that look on your face? <laughs> no way. Oh man, I should have taken a picture. Yeah, you should have. I am so honored you find this funny. Is that how you treat your guests? I think I need to talk to your supervisor. God damn. Talk to yourself. You aren't even a guest here. What are you doing here in the first place? Ash? I could be looking to buy a house. A mansion? Yeah, why not? Did you see the view outside? It doesn't look haunted to me at all. Ashton, I am not in the mood. What are you doing here? I just finished working on something, so I dropped by. And I, uh, I said I'll see if I can pick you up. Turns out I can. Uh, free time and all. So here, here I am. Uh, figured you'd still be busy, and so I roamed around for a while. Oh, you should have mentioned that sooner. I was about to throw you out. Oh, throw me? Hey, I was given a pamphlet. Damn. I think that makes me a legitimate client. Damn, that's tough. We have mandatory sign-in sheets for clients, Ash. I didn't see your name on it. And you can't just roam around because it says open house. Normal people actually follow an etiquette here. Right, okay. I think I'll just go ahead and... No, wait. I wasn't really going to throw you out. Rose said... <laughs> Never mind. I was just about to leave anyway. Wait, what? Now? What's wrong? Zach's movie tonight, remember? It's still early. And didn't you say you were <coughs> playing around five or six? What a pay. Hey, Isabella, wait up. I won't say no to free food, but why are you giving away cereal bars? Thanks. I always have one on my person, and you look like you're about to pass out back there. Have you eaten lunch yet? <laughs> How'd the open house go? The 
usual. We got a bigger crowd than normal because of the property's fame, but really, no different from the typical open house. On second thought, it actually looks like a fancy party more than an open house. I've never felt so underdressed in my life. Weren't you there? I wasn't really listening. I should have asked someone to kick you out. No, you won't. And what makes you so sure? One, ever since you got assigned to this property, you've been freaking out about it. Rebecca's words, not mine. She's been complaining to me about how you talked your ears off, by the way. Two, despite your initial qualms about the place, you still took the job. Which brings us to three. It's been months since you last settled a deal, and you're short on money right now since you're back to your instant noodle diet. How do you even know about the last one? Rebecca. God damn. Anyhow, you're hell-bent on selling the mansion. Even if someone you know personally is in the tour group, you aren't going to just kick them out. Every single person who went on your open house is still a prospective client to you. Even me. I hate you. I really hate you right now. <laughs> I'll have you know that there's already someone who's extremely interested in this property. So even if you expressed any sort of interest in it, I don't think they'd be willing to let you have it. Too bad. You don't seem too happy about it. I am happy. Doesn't this look like a happy face to you? Really? And here I was thinking you found another one stuffed in the sofa. Or is it the wardrobe this time? Yeah, well, things happened. Stuff the right couple might not be pleased about. No need to make a fuss about it. It's normal in the business. You made them angry? Not angry. Just stuff happened. Like? Things. Did they do anything? Your clients. The rights, was it? Seriously. You're already assuming something happened. I'm not. It's what you said earlier, and that's why I'm asking. What did they do? They didn't do anything, all right? It's... it's nothing. Work's just been stressful. My boss has been in a bad mood lately over a lost sale. Preparing everything for the open house has been tiring. And then there's the tour. You've seen how big the place is. Just so you know, people we interrogate often avoid our eyes when they're hiding something. I'm not hiding anything! I didn't say you were. Then why are you still asking about it? Your face is a lot more expressive than you think. Can you please just drop it? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to yell. First it was the year. <coughs> yes. Oh, there's Zach. Hey, hey, you guys! Long time no see. Sup, Z-Man, my main man. What's crack a lackin', my homie? <laughs> Yo, 
Stop trying to act black, Ashton. And you're the only one who calls me Z-Man. <laughs> Damn. I told you. So I have to black this face. That means... That means... So... That means you... So... That means you use racist. <laughs> it's been a while, Zach. I hope you didn't get into trouble again. Not much to get into trouble lately without you, I'm afraid. I'll let you know if something comes up, though. Nah, I ended up with Chicken Down stuck on me last time I agreed. I'd really love at least this year to- Hey, I take offense to that. It wasn't that- You really have no idea. Hey, I'm kidding! You know you can always count on me. No. Don't even turn to goddamn. Bella! Oh, yeah, it's true. I have to. Huh? I have to. Rebecca's not with you. Is she still sick? A bit. But she's up and went to work this morning. You know she doesn't listen to anyone that's not Ash. Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. You're literally the only person she'll listen to when she's feeling stubborn. But don't worry, Zach. She's probably on her way here now. She promised she wouldn't miss your movie. Isabella! Oh, thank goodness! Oh, hell no. Who brought it up in the first place? Mm. I'm sorry. Saw her. I'm sorry. I'm gonna shut the hell. How to shut the hell up? Yeah, they arrived together. Better look fine to me then. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't like that face. I, I, I don't like that face. I'm mean, gonna help. Damn. Oh, that's. That's good. At least she didn't have to travel alone, right? At least. Good. See? I'm okay. I wouldn't be here if I wasn't. And... and I don't want to miss sex film. We can always watch it some other time. 
sorry, Zachary. No, it's good. But you guys should really keep it down. We're starting to attract some attention. What the what the, oh I don't know why. Why because you're in public game you know, like this no no, no, no people looking. It's the premiere! The premiere's different! Right, Zach? Attention down. Yeah. Not really. But Rebecca has a point. In the end, I think it's your call. Oh, for heaven's sake. Please, Becca. I really don't want to miss it. You're not missing it. Oh, we're just moving it on a different day so we can have a look, you guys. Oh my god. If she says she's okay, then there's nothing we can do about it. It's not like we can stop her either. Besides, she's still acting like the same old Isabella to me, if she can still run around like that. Why are you taking her side? I'm not. But if she wants to watch Zack's movie with us, I'm not going to stop her. She's probably the one looking forward to it the most. Ash, that's... <sighs> you, of all people, should know... Tell you what. If I notice something amiss mm. with her, I'll take her to the nearest hospital myself. Mm. Is that good enough for you? <laughs> Thanks, Becca. <laughs> it's always been you with him, isn't it? Did you say something? Me? Uh, nothing. Don't mind me. You <laughs> If you mumble like that, maybe. If you say so. Okay, guys, showtime's close, so I think I'm gonna <clears> get us some snacks. My t uh, anyone here has a smaller bill? Oh, don't shit, shit. don't even shit. don't even shit. Cause y'all, because you know. I think I do. Hold on. Why would you say why? Why? I don't think I know what it is at. It's at. So, don't even. <coughs> What's this? Oh, for God's sakes. No! Give it. One second. Fucking hands. Back! It's just a paper. I don't care! Give it! it looks ancient, too. Why do you keep this around? Don't open it! What's the big deal? It's not like it's a love letter. I don't see any reason to... Hold on a second. This is, isn't it? Even if it is, it's not for you. Okay. Now I'm curious. I'm telling you it's nothing like that. It's... Y'all niggas rude, goddamn. Y'all niggas don't know. Don't. Don't. Don't know how to how, how, how to listen. That's tough. Send this to five people or else. Well, that's interesting. Um, guys, I think we should listen to Bella first. Aren't you a few days early for Halloween? <laughs> No. It's not a prank. What did you say? This isn't a prank! I saw something! Hold on. Are we still talking about this paper? Or is it about the urban legend again? Both. I know it sounds ridiculous. You're saying this is a primitive version of a chain letter. And now that we've seen it, we're now cursed. You've got to be kidding me. See? This is why I didn't want to tell you guys. Isabella, aren't you taking this a bit too far? It's not a joke! Will you guys listen to me first? I saw something in the house earlier. It stood right in front of me. Right. 
And in broad daylight, Isabella. Even someone gullible would find the logic in that screwed up. There's also no way in hell that this supernatural shit is true. But it's real! What do you think I saw? A hallucination? A delusion? Didn't you say you fell down some stairs? So maybe Rebecca's right. It happened after, when I was trying to get away. I almost got stuck in the same room with that thing. We're all in danger. I thought you were my friends. Why don't you believe me? We are, and you know that. But this thing and that thing has got nothing to do with the other. When Rose called earlier, I thought she's just exaggerating. But based on what I'm seeing right now, maybe it's better if we really postpone this for now. Don't bother. Guys! Exactly. <coughs> Mm. Why don't we all calm down first? I'm sure Isabella has her reasons too. No need to be hard on her. Facts. Come on, you two as well. Because y'all don't know how to freaking work. And hey, ain't this supposed to be a happy get together? We haven't seen each other for months. I I'd really love to know what y'all have been up to. Please. Don't. Don't look at me like that, bro. He asked you a question, not me. I was hit. Arguing here, we're going to miss the first few minutes. All right, that's the Isabella I know. Oh, good. I thought for sure you were going to cry. <clears throat> uh huh. What was that for? Stop calling me a crybaby. I'm not one. Oh, don't cry. Stop it. Okay, scaredy cat then. That too. If you repeat that, I swear I'll. Let's just go. Let's just forget anything. So, uh, you guys go catch up with her. I'll go get us the food, I promise. But you'll miss it. Didn't you say watching a movie without food ain't fun? <laughs> it ain't like I haven't seen it. I made it, remember? I'll be in there soon. Okay, we're we'll singing. And then, are you sure it wasn't one of the cleaning crews? Absolutely sure. I ran. You heard what happened after. I still think it's something else. It was standing right in front of me, Ash. I heard what you said, but it's a small room. There are a lot of things someone else could have done there without your knowledge. If I could see it up close, maybe I can... I am not going back there. Ain't that a problem if you're hosting an open house? Rose does the first floor tour. I ain't sure ghosts can be restricted to one room, Bella. No, go everywhere, go. So you know, so you know, so you know, ghosts will come and go. There are no ghosts, Zack. Stop putting useless ideas in her head. Yeah, but I was thinking, maybe all the house needs is a blessing. Wasn't it left uninhabited for years? I didn't 
peg you as the religious type, Zack. Nothing like that, Ash. Who knows, though? It might bring something positive to the place. That's not a bad idea. I just don't know where I could find someone. You're not seriously considering a suggestion, are you? Do you have a better idea? Yeah, this is part one to continue. I know where. <laughs> I can contact him for you if you want. You do that? Or we can find you a psychologist instead. Oh, hell no. Ash, that is not a very appropriate thing to say right now. No, wait, that's not what I meant. Ethnographer. I meant ethnographer. This guy's a psychologist too, of course, if you... Ashton, if you don't stop... Rebecca knows the guy I'm talking about too. She can vouch for him. Huh? What? Oh, are you talking about Professor Andrew? He used to work with my parents at the university. And can you guys keep it down? Sorry, scaredy cat here mentioned curses. Not that I'm saying this is one, but talking to him is a better solution for me than getting a random priest to bless an old house. He'll even help you figure things out, teach you a couple things. And probably put your fears to rest, since this looks to be bothering you a So, what do you think? It's your call. We'll go with whatever you want. I don't know. I'll think about it. But maybe we could go with Zack's idea? I'm not so sure about that. Well, it wouldn't hurt to try, right? If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. At least we did something than just stand around. I'll let you know when he's available, Bella. Thanks, Zack. I knew I could count on you. Guys, I said keep it down! You keep insisting that we still watch it, yet you're not even paying attention yourselves! It ain't a big deal, Rebecca. I'm the one who broached the subject in the first place. It's still your film, Zachary. A good film, mind you. You worked hard on this. The least we could do is watch it with you. Damn. And that's what you're all doing. I really appreciate all of you making time for this. Sorry, Becca. We'll stop now. Damn, that's tough. for today everyone no problem Zach I'm sorry for what happened earlier huh you listening? Are you coming with me? Oh, I... Yeah. Just... Okay. Sorry. I spaced out. You always do that. So you got some other time? Y yeah.
time is it? Oh man, of all the times to oversleep! Towel? Towel? Where's my towel? this Christmas. How about Nico? Karen? Michael? I hope they're okay? They're doing well. They wanted to talk to you, but they're all busy with school. Oh no, that's fine. I don't want to bother them. Just tell them to keep doing their best for me. I'll just call back when I know they're not busy. And Papa? How's Papa doing? Papa. Grace, Papa's... He's having a little difficulty right now. Weak appetite, he's having trouble swallowing, and lost a few pounds. But the doctor said we should keep encouraging him. It just means his body's accepting his new treatment well. The money you sent last time helped a lot to pay for it, by the way. Oh, I see. Th that's good. soon. Is he well enough to talk? Do you think I'll be able to speak to him, Ma? Listen, Grace. Maybe it's better if we transfer Papa to a different hospital. Somewhere cheaper? What? Why? Did something happen? Is it the deposit issue again? Give me the hospital's number. I'll talk to them. No, it's nothing bad. The service here is good. Too good. Even the doctors. Oh. But I'm worried you're working yourself to the ground because of it. Mama, we've been through this before. I want the best for Papa. And don't worry about the bills or the medicine, or me for that matter. I can handle myself. Everything's going well here. In fact, in fact, we're about to close a large sale. I'll have money to send over soon to cover the rest of Papa's treatment. And there's more than enough for Karen, Nico, Michael, and EJ's school tuition, too. Thank you so much, dear. I appreciate it. We all do. But I... I just wish you'd come home to us soon. Promise me you'll be there to welcome me when I do, okay? Of course. I'm sorry, Grace. 
I need to take this for a while. It's okay, Ma. I need to go, too. I've got work today. I'll call again soon, alright? On a Saturday? Oh, never mind. Take care of yourself, dear. I love you. I love you. Bye. <sighs> okay, Isabella. Time to get that mansion sold. <clears throat> Mama? Did you forget anything? Excuse you? I'm too young to be your mom. Are you still sleeping? Hey, we need you to be Hold on, never mind the office. What about the open house? Oh no. Is it Sir John? Oh god, oh god, oh god! I'm gonna get yelled at, aren't I? No, 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 it's nothing like that. Will you calm down? Get yourself here, alright? I'll tell you everything then. Here, I need you to help me with these papers. If you could also get these signed and photocopied before lunch today, that would be great. They're buying it? We got a deal? I had to do a little damage control, but they're already interested in acquiring the property. Even before, th I mean, isn't it obvious? They already hired an interior designer. I've never seen a buyer as aggressive as Madame Wright. She didn't even try to negotiate a lower rate. One at a time, Rose. I can't process everything you're saying at once. What do you mean? They're paying 15% higher than the listing price. As long as we get the paperwork done as soon as possible. I think if we allow it, they'll be paying up front, too. Even with that urban legend? Oh, I was so sure we lost the sale act. Don't look so surprised. We still have to conduct some last few checks before we completely hand it over to them. Please. I'll happily do the paperwork duty, Rose. I'll even go to the land registry myself and make sure the property changes hands with every single legal blessing. Isabel, 
How are you feeling? You looked awfully dreadful yesterday. Isabella, I'm fine now, ma'am. I appreciate your concern. Wonderful. Your team works unbelievably fast. That settled. Uh, are you really sure about this property, ma'am? We could easily find you a bigger one among our current listings. Something with a modern touch? Of course. Why wouldn't I be? The house is absolutely perfect, isn't it, darling? A helipad would still be a nice addition. Yes, well, we'll get there eventually, love. As I was saying, if your partner had the documents yesterday, we would have bought it right there immediately. Shame she didn't have it. Well, well there's still a few necessary documents. We will be handling the process for the rest, so don't worry about it, ma'am. Hmm. Within a week, I hope. We still have a housewarming party to plan, after all. You know how much thought to be put into those things. There are servants for that, darling. Love, wouldn't it be better if we handled it ourselves? It is our housewarming party and our new home. No more than a week, ma'am. Barring unexpected delay, of course. <laughs> <laughs> you can leave it to us. <clears throat> okay, that's the chapter, right? So, that means, that means, um, there should be seven parts to the game because the game is not this huge. Well, then, I'll Actually, leave you two to it. It's product. been a pleasure doing business with you. Wonderful. Oh, and before we forget. I know both of you worked hard on getting us this beautiful mansion. Did I mention we reward our people generously? No. But this is... Ma'am, I can't accept this. Don't you worry, darling. It's a small thing coming from us. Consider this your bonus for a job well done. Oh, before I forget, my lovely interior designer would appreciate it if you hand her a copy of the floor plans as soon as possible. She's done. You can do that, yes? Here's her contact. C certainly, ma'am. We'll have it processed as soon as possible. I knew I could count on you, lovelies. I hope to see you too soon so we can get this closed. Crazy, you know. This I
Well, the something. So how does it feel? How does what feel? Your first big multi-million pound sales, silly. I know you've been with us. Come on, show some enthusiasm. They gave us a bonus too, aside from the commission and the other bonus boss promised. What are you gonna do with it? Uh, I don't know. Send it home, probably. All of it? <laughs> Not everything, of course. Most of it. I'll leave some for my living expenses. Listen here, Isabella. I'll teach you something I should have told you before we ended your training. It's okay to celebrate from time to time. I don't get it. It's simple. Go out, do something for yourself. Throw a party and treat your friends to free food. Didn't you say the last one's some sort of tradition back at home for you? Hello, this is practically a done deal. Uh, isn't throwing a party a bit excessive? Your call. I won't say no to an invitation, by the way, in case you really are planning to throw one. A few drinks would be nice too, thank you very much. I don't think my apartment's big enough for that. You could always move? Bloody hell, you're working in real estate. I think I'll pass. That's too much of an unnecessary expense for me. But I did promise Becca free lunch in case the sale goes well. You go do that. Hold on a sec. Today? Not a problem, ma'am. I could bring you a copy of the contract if... I'd be happy to discuss this over tea, ma'am. All right, I'll be there. Thank you. New client? Reassigned. Have you heard from Mark and all? Not since the first visit to the mansion. Why? No news from the HR yet? None at all. Boss thinks he ran away. I doubt it, though. He's too much of a wimp for that. There must be another reason. <sighs> Who knows? Anyway, I've got to meet this one. I'll see you later. Seem to be in a bed. 
I know that smile, Belle. Come on, still. hungry. Hey, not all the time. Let me guess, you skipped breakfast again. Not on purpose. I may have overslept by a few seconds today. Right then. Stop stalling, Isabella. What's this about? Let us say, Rebecca, she wouldn't be inviting us out if it wasn't worth hearing out. Well, we're waiting. I'm treating you guys. I I'm sorry, say that again. And this is important because... Okay, let me do that again. Guess what, guys? You heard me right, ladies and gentlemen. As of today, I, Maria Isabella Grace Cruz Santos, am free from my instant noodle binge. <coughs> Seriously? Hold it, Belle. You... Yep. Which house is this? In Aslam Village? The one with the open house yesterday? The one and only. Come on, Becca. I know you've got a better memory than that. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> you don't believe me? I'm sure it ain't the way you're thinking, Bella. No, no, I do believe you. But uh, don't you think the sale happened a bit too fast? The open house only started yesterday, and now you already have a buyer? It happens from time to time? Yeah, but... Look, I'm happy for you. Just yesterday, you... What if the sale doesn't push through? Isn't it a little too early to celebrate? Rebecca does have a point, Bella. If you haven't closed the deal yet, there's still a chance they'll go back on it. Mm, they don't seem like it to me. The lady appeared to really want it, and she approached me without even finishing the tour. And she already hired someone to handle the house's interior design. You're joking. Who would do that? The rights, apparently. It's actually pretty funny. She's a bit too excited to get the property. She forgot to buy it. At any rate, they've already signed the agreement today, so it's just a matter of time. And don't tell anyone about this, but Ma'am Hannah also gave us something extra. Something as in... As in, it's why I can treat you two to a free meal. I'm almost surprised you accepted it. She didn't really give us a choice in the matter. So don't lose sleep over this, okay? The couple really want the house. If Rose didn't stop them, they'd likely have paid up front for it yesterday. That's despite the legends, too. I even tried to show them the letter. But nope. I want this house, darling. Go take all our money. You don't really think they believe that, do you? I'm... Oh, well, there's you. Right. You know what? I'll just eat all of these by myself. <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't go all pouty on me again. I'm just concerned you'll get hurt if this doesn't happen. I know how- I'm sure he's gonna be fine now, though, with the money. They don't know yet. I think I'll call them tomorrow. Mama said this morning he's showing progress with the new treatment, too. It's just a matter of time.
Are you sure you're not feeling under the weather, Zachary? Huh? W no, I I'm okay. No, no worries, Rebecca. Doesn't sound okay to me. <laughs> it's... It's, it's okay. I might be feeling a little bummed out. Is it about the reviews this morning? You heard it. Sorry. I no, no, it's, it's, it, it's a very sensitive topic. And I... What reviews? It is... That doesn't explain anything. Stop dangling the information, Becca. Zachary, I'm not the one supposed to be telling her about this. It's still your documentary. Is it something bad? Not bad, per se. You, you, you guys don't need to dwell on it much. Bad? Listen here! I wouldn't trivialize what those bowheads wrote if I were you! <laughs> this isn't a laughing matter, Isabella. Some bow bag just insulted him. Calm down, Rebecca. Those are just reviews, and it. <sighs> I do not ken about you two. But calling the entire film an out and out drivel, you're better off watching an educational kids' TV show. And worst one and a half hour of my life, among other things, isn't exactly a critique any decent movie reviewer would say. <sighs> if you could call that a critique. Did we even watch the same film? Well, maybe I ain't cut out for it. Better stick with my photography or something. If nothing else, this helped me open my eyes to what I can and can't do. You're giving up. It was just something experimental I did on my free time anyway. It's, it's no big deal. But you worked on it for months. Doesn't look like it matters for those people. Don't say that! Just a review. Except they're pretty well-known critics. Why does that matter? They aren't the ones calling the shots on this. Isn't that right, Becca? <laughs> Failing means you're playing, Zach. Uh, not that I'm saying it's bad. I've seen it from start to finish, and I know for myself what you created isn't something people should scoff at. I don't know anything about filming or photography, but I know what I watched. Look at Isabella. It's not every day you see her all riled up like this. It was a heat of the moment thing. And anyway, I'll be very angry with you if you quit. What about the exhibit? What exhibit? Classified information. Even if I bring you your favorite tonight? Nope, not a chance. Oh, come on. I thought we aren't supposed to have secrets. <laughs> Thanks, you two. Uh, I might need some time alone to myself for a while. Hey, I'm not quitting, Bella. Don't give me that face. Promise? I'll be damned if I break any promise I make to you guys. Besides, you're right. It's too early to say anything right now. What's well, night ain't for another week? Hey, Isabel. You at the office? Ha ha. Very funny, Rose. I'm hanging up. <sighs> Don't. I'm kidding. BRC says the floor plan copies are ready for Miss McCullough to pick up. I'm stuck in horrendous traffic right now. Bloody stupid drivers. Anyway, I'll leave it to you. Bye. Thanks.
okay? You are screaming. Zach, call someone. No, don't. I'm good. I'm good. I need... I need to get to the office. Rose, the floor plans. Someone's going to pick it up. I, I'll see you later. Be careful. Don't stand up yet. Stay put, Isabella. Zach, you watch over her for me. I'll call for... Uh, for someone. What, what do you still do? If you don't want to just burn the goddamn people, burn it. find my phone. No worries. You game tomorrow? Did I forget something? Remember that guy I told you about? Uh, back in the movies? The, uh, priest? For the blessing? Does it ring a bell? Yeah, I remember. Is he... Is he fine with it? Uh, my friend doesn't mind. Well, lucky he's not busy. So, tomorrow, you'll meet us at the mansion. Okay. Sorry for the trouble, Zach. Hey, no problem. I'm the one who suggested it to begin with. And, well, this afternoon, you did surprise us. Never seen you scream like that. You scared the hell out of Rebecca. <laughs> I guess I owe you a lot for this, huh? <laughs> nah, we're cool, we're cool. You had us worried. But I know you'll tell us about it eventually. I just want to make sure you're doing well. You left all of a sudden, and you're not answering any of our calls. Yeah, anyway, I gotta go. I left something on the stove before making this call. Just soup. But it'd be embarrassing if I burned soup. I doubt it. Ashton, on the other hand... Oh, remind, remind me to tell you about what he did with the pressure cooker next time. Oh, damn, it overflowed! Really need to get going. Bye, Bella. Oh, don't be surprised. They say people who have found their calling are getting younger these days. S Sorry, <coughs> Father. I didn't mean to say that out loud. Uh-oh. 
No offense taken. Though I admit I'm a bit surprised. I didn't think someone would ask this house to be blessed after all these years. You've heard of it, Father? In passing. The occasional rumors and talk by the locals, nothing new. You don't spend years serving the church here without hearing a random hearsay here and there. You never mentioned what you thought of those, Father. Ah, but he who goes down to the grave does not come up. He shall never return to his house, nor shall his place know him any more. But what I saw... May not be what you think. It depends entirely on what you mean by it. If you're talking about spirit beings, angels, demons, then yes. Are we talking about the spirits of people who have departed? The word makes it clear that once the deceased has left us, they are gone. <laughs> but of course, I didn't come here to bore you with a lecture. No, it was enlightening, Father. Thank you. Just remember that a god who loves his children would never let them linger once the time comes. That's what my papa often tells me. Your father must be a good man. He raised you well, no doubt. Well then, shall we? Regardless of what it is, I'm sure the mansion's new owners would appreciate such sincere intentions. From a stranger, no less. Hey, you okay? Ugh, this place really gives me the creeps. It doesn't seem more than an ordinary house to me, though. Damn, I should have brought my camera with me. I saw a few areas that'd be good for a shoot. You think the new owners will allow it? Shh! What if you catch something? <laughs> it just means they want to be seen, doesn't it? D don't ask for it. It's not like we can stop them if they do. You're really not helping, Zack. All right, all right, sorry. Don't worry. I don't think whatever's inside this house will do anything. I'm here, yeah? I'll take care of them. Or I think I can. You're not that scary, but thanks. I'll be sure to run behind you if I see one. Funny Is something the matter? No, I, I... I'm sorry, Father. I think I left the key... Careful, Bella! We've spoken with the current owners. Well, technically, you're not yet the owners, but... A complete understatement, darling. What are they doing in my house? I thought you said you wanted to do paperwork, dude. I, uh, the reason why I'm here? Well, spit it out, Lily. We don't have all day. Damn. <clears throat> I'm just here to make sure everything is fine before you move in. appears impeccably fine to me. <laughs> Come on, little Lily. Lying doesn't do that cute little face any justice. I'm a very patient man. Now, why are you really here? The truth... The truth is I was just thinking we could have the house blessed b before move-in day. And why would we ever need to have this house blessed? F for luck? And protection?
outrage coming from you. When we saw Devlin caught, you didn't. It's a small custom back home. I thought it would be nice to- And the papers, Isabella? Of course I did. It's almost done in f- And well, this is what this is for too. Here, I thought you didn't want to go back. A job is a job, Rose. Oh, well if that's the case, then go ahead. No need to be so hard on her, Rosie. I personally think it's a nice touch. Darling, Buttercup, please. You know these things don't work. No offense meant to the holy man, of course. That does not explain the nigger, though. Lucille Mitchell Wright. What? I'm sure she knows what she's doing, love. She got us the house, remember? Who knows what a little positive vibe can do? It could- What have we been waiting for? I don't think I was ever informed of. Nothing you should worry about right now. Anyway, we've still got a few things- I hope you don't mind, Isabel. We'd love to take you with us, but- Oh! No, 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 no! Go ahead, ma'am! Oh, wonderful. Of course, ma'am. Please look forward to it. Mm. <laughs> Isabella, a word before I go? Zachary hasn't been really forthcoming with your situation, and it is something I understand it wasn't his to share. But whatever burdens you, know that it's not a permanent fixture in your life. Besides, you have people to bear it with. Say, do you want to go somewhere? Right now? Anywhere in the city. It wouldn't hurt. I've got some stuff I need to buy. Groceries. And there's a shop I want to check. Is it real food this time? Let me guess. Rebecca? She's just worried about you. Even I can't eat that much instant noodles. Think of it as a talent. Let's just go, Zach. Sorry, la 
arm was really long. Really long. Uh, you didn't have to run. Sit down first. Nah. Uh, I'm, I'm good. Didn't want to make you wait for these. What for? An apology. And as thanks for yesterday and the other day. You don't have to buy me anything, Zach. You were upset. You haven't been yourself recently, and people kind of miss that, you know? Are you just saying that, or...? No, really. Rebecca told me. You know how she is. Ashton, too. Ashton was an ass. He should have been named Ashhole instead. <laughs> He went a little overboard, yeah. And I can talk to him if you want. He'll still tease me about it, even if it's Rebecca telling him to stop. Besides, I can handle him. You always do. And yesterday, when you talked me through my little slump, I thought, hey, I want our old Isabella back. Are you... Are you still upset? Thanks a lot for today, Zach. You didn't have to, but you did. I can always count on you. Just me? No Ashton or Rebecca? Oh boy, they won't be happy to hear that. I don't mind being the favorite, though. Nope, no favorites. But you cook better than both of them, so that's a plus. <laughs> it's always been fool with you, ain't it? Don't put it like that. You're making me sound like a glutton. I'm not saying you are. But it does feel good to know there's someone I can invite for food to be able to eat all of it. Only that? I thought we were also art- Oh, that too. Uh, but the food thing really stands out when you think about it. Low blow. I take pride in my height. So, uh, is it okay now? Do you feel better? Does- A little. I'll be okay. I'll- I'll figure it out, somehow. It's not as bad as the other day, and Father Norman helped too. I should have brought something to thank him. Oh, we could visit him anytime. He loves hearing from the young ones. He isn't that old, is he? <laughs> Don't know. He doesn't tell. I think I might have seen his face somewhere before. I just couldn't recall when or where. Ash says he looks like his boss, so the bartender at the local pub if he squints. Don't take his word for it, of course. He might have accidentally inhaled something from the forensic lab again when he said that. <laughs> <laughs> if you need anything, just ring, okay? Like when Ash annoys you too much. I'll help you with him, best friend or not. No way. I can take him on. Still an extra muscle wouldn't hurt, yeah? Just let me know, and I'll back you up. My sister knows this one thing to shut him up when he's being his usual self. Ask me what it is whenever you want, and I'll spill it. I don't think that's necessary, but thanks. Well, we can't be Good game, you know. We can ask like that.
peaceful as well if I want to. Where's your owner, anyway? Well, if you don't have one, I won't be able to take you in. My apartment doesn't allow pets. I tried to bring one home before. A cat. Not black, of course. <sighs> and Rebecca threw a fit before the landlady could. What one? Barufia! I'm sorry. Did my cat hurt you? Miss Santos, was it? I'm surprised to see you here. Nice to meet you again, Miss Makala. Were you harmed in any way? I'm sorry. Barufia was not exactly fond of other people. Even run away from the veterinarian right now. He was just sniffing my hand earlier. My brew feels a she. I'm actually surprised you have a cat, Miss McC And why exactly is that? Yeah, but not a black one. I'm amazed you're taking care of one. I don't understand what you're trying to get at. Is there a problem with my cat? No, not at all. She's very sweet. Just in other cultures, aren't they a sign of bad luck? Nothing has happened to me so far. <laughs> this is a good place to stop and end this conversation, don't you think so? It is. Good to see you again, Santa. By the way, about the Irmingard Mansion, with my clients. I hope you don't mind me asking, but has the deal been finalized? There's still a few papers they need, but the house is more or less theirs now. <laughs> ah, thank you. That's all I needed to know. Wait, I... about the mansion. D don't mind me. Have a good day, Miss McCullough. In other local news, a woman was found dead in her home yesterday evening. Luxborn police officials are currently investigating the crime scene, but has classified the case as homicide. The victim, identified as Rose Pamela Cooper, 33 years old, working as a real estate agent. Discovered lying in a pool of blood in her two-bedroom flat with the words help me repeatedly written on the walls.
you're not dead. Please tell me you're not. This adds to the series of deaths and disappearances that has plagued Luxborn in the recent years. The authorities are currently looking at a possible link with the notorious Anselm Butcher case. <laughs> Oh, um. Mine is silver. Um, eggs. Yeah. Shush. That's good. What are you talking about, kid? Oh my god. How's eggs nasty? How? Exactly. Exactly. Oh my god. I wish you would. I'm sure you've all heard of what happened to Miss Cooper. She was a valued member of our team and she will be missed. There's no date for a funeral yet, but those who wish to attend, kindly speak with your respective supervisors. Hmm. By the way, hmm. has anyone heard about our still AWOL staff? None? <sighs> HR, no. you know what to do. Santos, a word in my office. Police Department continues its search for the following reported missing people. But I need to. No, oh, if it's like this, they still won't believe me. I have to make sure of it first. Hell no. <clears throat> Gonna be lit soon, right, guys? Oh, it's
I'm dead. Our Father, who art, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Oh my god, right, I died. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you see guys, this thing is hard. So, so guys, I'm just trying to tell me. me a long ass time. To me. Oh, yup, I'm dead. Yup, I'm dead, yup, yup. Oh my god, you see? This this, this part's really hard though, like you have to look to pay attention. Oh my god. Oh my god oh my god. Our Father, give us this day our day and lead us not into temptation. Oh, guess what I'm dead anyway. Oh my god. The phone instructions for the scheme is my fucking heart. Tap the screen to stop the contract at the right time. Nah, yep, I forced it now, I forced it. So, so it's just have to put at the right time. I'm dead. Father, who are, give us and lead us. But come on. Put us. Oh my god. <laughs> I think it's bad hard, bro. Like, it's not hard. How was that? Look, that's barely on the red. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hold hallowed on, be guys. thy name. Thy kingdom Oops. come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, and lead us not into temptation. Yup, I'm dead. Oh my god. That's what he's dead. Yep, I'm dead. Okay. I was <laughs> yeah, just playing, bro. I was in the country. Now, now I'm out. Like, Dude, go. Oh my god. Our Father, who art in heaven, give us this day our daily bread and lead us not into. Oh my god, bro, I keep dying, bro. Oh my god, <laughs> bro, I keep dying, bro. This is crazy. If I'm going to lie, I've got to play a new game, though, you know? Too late. <laughs> Come on, you see? You see? The, the, the thing is, the thing is that. We should have burned the goddamn paper before me. Oh, damn it. Oh, my God. This thing is not fucking hard. Dude. Oh, my God. Hi, Father, bro. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Oh my god, bro, 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 I keep dying, bro. You see this part? I never forget it. Well, 
before I passed it, like, I was, like, concentrated. That's why I passed it, like, no, no, no. It'll go faster. Like, but, a little timer, too. I think about the camera stop. Tap the screen on the front the right time. You see? You see? Our Father, give us and lead us not into temp- Yeah. Sorry, guys. Well, I kind of here, but I, I'm going to have to because I can't think about a fucking hard. I can't, I, I can't do it. Like, it's mad hard, though. Like, like it's mad hard. Like, it's, it's crazy. Yep, we did. <clears throat> God damn it, get them out of there. No, no. Nope, I'm, I'm not going to quit. Okay, continue. Our Father, give us this day our daily bread and, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Yep, we're dead. Yep, we're dead because she heard us. Now we're fucking dead. Good job, y'all. Y'all is hard, but like, yep, I'm dead. I'm dead. Like, no comments coming down already, yo. Daily bread and lead us not into temptation. You see, this is why I hate those that when, when you know, 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 I was ready. Ha <laughs> 
You see, I got it two times and I failed the one. Don't tell me I failed. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Well, then, thy kingdom come, come sorry, thy will guys. be done. Thank on you for earth watching. As it is in heaven. I hope you enjoyed the part two return. No, I know it's not part two. That's part one return. Thanks for watching. This little Jesus son here. Bye bye.